A group of unbound delegates could act as kingmaker this summer and decide their party's nominee if the Republican or Democratic Party reaches an open convention. That would take place if no candidate wins the majority of delegates needed to become their party's presumptive nominee in the remaining state contests. So in WSJ's campaign Q&A, who's considered an unbound delegate and how much sway could they have at their party's convention? We'll start with Republicans because mathematically, the GOP is much more likely to reach an open or contested convention. Of the 2,472 delegates who will attend the party's national convention in Cleveland this July, most will be bound to vote for the candidate who won their state or district on the first roll call ballot. But roughly 200 will be considered unbound, meaning they can support any candidate they choose. These unbound delegates will come from Colorado, Wyoming, North Dakota, and U.S. territories that chose not to hold presidential preference votes. There will also be 54 unbound delegates from Pennsylvania because the state holds a so-called loophole primary. A few dozen delegates won by Senator Marco Rubio, who dropped out of the Republican race in March, will also be unbound. If the race is tight, these unbound delegates could sway the vote on the first ballot when everyone else is bound to a candidate. That actually happened in 1976 when an uncommitted delegation from Mississippi swung the vote for President Gerald Ford, who defeated then-Governor Ronald Reagan at a contested convention. However, if no candidate wins a majority of delegates after the first ballot, most of the other delegates at the convention will become unbound, making the winner anyone's guess. That's why the GOP candidates have enlisted experts to run their delegate operations and have been attending state conventions that in a normal year wouldn't get much attention. On the Democratic side, there's a greater percentage of unbound delegates. They include roughly 700 superdelegates who aren't elected but seated automatically. These include top elected officials, party members, and even former presidents. 2016 superdelegates include DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz, President Bill Clinton, and Senator Bernie Sanders himself. Because many of the superdelegates pledged their support ahead of the convention, we know that Hillary Clinton has won an overwhelming number of them. However, they can change their minds any time, and Sanders is trying to sway some of them to his side. Due to these superdelegates, the Democratic race is far less likely to reach an open convention. But it could happen, and the Sanders campaign says it's planning for one.